Identifying these pollinators has been a challenge and I don't envy entomologists at all. Some insects can't even be identified without dissection and viewing under a microscope. It must take a lot of patience. Following are some of the nighttime pollinators of the Habenaria repens orchid. I show their common name, their Latin name, and their larval food or host plants as well.
I have noticed moths with these things on their heads before and didn't know what they were until I researched for this video. The funny knobs on their heads are called pollinia. A pollinia is a mass of two to eight knob-like packets of pollen. In the flower structure, the pollinia are located underneath the male anther cap and contain a sticky structure called the vasidium. The vasidium helps the pollinia stick to the moth's head so it can transport the pollen to other flowers. Pollinia are found in two plant families, the orchids and the milkweeds. The common name for this native green flowered orchid is water spider false rain orchid and its Latin name is Habenaria repens. It's a terrestrial as well as an aquatic orchid. One thing that's nice about living on the lake is I get to find these beauties all throughout my green space. They pop up along the edge of the road, the lake edge, next to the seawall, and even in the middle of my lawn. Knowing what to look for when they are immature can help you identify them so they can be left to bloom. I'll show you what the immature ones look like so you might find some of your own. The flowers emit an amazing vanilla fragrance at night which attracts their nighttime moth pollinators. These orchids occur naturally in wet areas, swamps, bogs, pond and lake margins from North Carolina, south to Florida, and west to Arkansas and Texas. It can also be found growing on mats of floating vegetation. As a matter of fact, it's the only native aquatic orchid in North America. This is an immature Habenaria repens plant. They have a very distinct look which is almost like a succulent. Actually, the foliage looks almost identical to a spiderwort plant, if you're familiar with them. When they're intermixed with the lawn, they can be hard to find, but I hope you find some of these beauties for yourself.